Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to share with all of you a message from Medjugorje. Therefore, we also encourage all viewers to please ensure to share this message to others. Especially to those who needs God's eternal salvation. Amen. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them with the fire of divine love. Send your Spirit, and they shall be created and ye shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy His consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ivan Dragicevic, one of the six visionaries of Medjugorje, spoke in Seattle, Washington, on the evening of October 29, 1997. In his talk, he answered questions and offered insights on mysteries and Catholic curiosities that were not well known. Ivan, truly, it is a great joy for me to look at Our Lady every day. It is a great joy for my family, but it's a great responsibility, also. I know God has given me so much but I also know that God expects a lot of me. And, believe me, it is very difficult every day to see Our Lady, enjoy her, be happy with her, have joy with her, and then come back to this world. Our Lady comes from her Son, the King of Peace. Our Lady comes to show us the way, the path of how we can come to her Son, how we can come to God. She wants to take our hands and guide us to peace, guide us to God. In one of her messages she says, Dear children, if there is no peace in the human heart, there cannot be peace in this world. That is why you must pray for peace. In the world, therefore, you must pray for peace, but Our Lady is very worried about these times. She said, My dear children, my son is sending me to you so I can help you. Dear children, peace must reign among God and people. The world today is in great danger and is threatening itself to be destroyed. In his talk, Ivan emphasized Our Lady's wishes for humanity and spoke of the importance of her plan for peace, but the visionary also dispelled some rumors of certain future events that are popular. Among some Catholics, Ivan said, there are many people in the world today speaking about some kinds of fears. There are many people today speaking about three days of darkness and about many punishments, and many times I hear people say that's what Our Lady says in Medjugorje. During the question and answer session, Ivan was asked, What do you tell people, who are worried about the three days of darkness? Ivan, as I said at the beginning, this is not something Our Lady said to us, so I don't know where it comes from, but as I have already said if we believe that Our Lady is with us, what should we be afraid of? Why should we be afraid? It is very difficult to describe to you the love that Our Lady has for each of us, but I want to tell you that she carries each of us in her maternal heart for this gift of peace. We must open up every day and pray every day personally and in community. Especially today, when there are so many crises in the world, there is a crisis in the family among young people, youth and even in the church. The most important crisis today is the crisis of faith in God. People have distanced themselves from God because families have distanced themselves from God. Our Lady is calling. 
God bless. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him we humbly pray, and to thou O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God. Thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who wandered through the world for the ruin of souls, Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of souls, when creature of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the Divine King and our admirable conductor. You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection, to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection, implored thy help, or sought the intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having employed the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously, to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by His blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity, shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven, Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together, that outlawed by His most precious blood and sacrifice on Calvary. May cleanse of all our iniquity and sin, and grant us the grace to feel truly saddened and remorseful, for all the transgressions and sins that we have committed intentionally and unintentionally. That He may also give us the grace to do all the necessary penances, and never commit these grievous sins any more. O oh my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of digest punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.